I don't think I look that bad. I just work. <laughs> we about to go get some food, y'all. You already know what we doing. We don't know what we cooking tonight. We trying to... Uh, Excuse me, I look like yesterday, but I don't look like yesterday. It's just all black. He's just in all black. That's all it is. Nah, I, be, I ain't comb my beard or nothing, y'all. <laughs> she be killing me. Killing you? I think she the chef, and I'm the fucking... Uh, I'm the crew member. Whatever. Uh, it's, a, it's a partnership, though. What y'all doing, man? What y'all doing on here? We about to go get some food. Did y'all have a productive day? Right? What's going on with y'all? Because we, we be talking about what we doing. We want to know what y'all doing. What y'all doing? This pandemic got everybody. This don't got us taking the crazy route. What oh, got no, us going on, on the drive? Oh, all right, cool. She talking about you want to drive on the drive? Who, how many of y'all scared to drive on Kelly's Cause drive? Because everybody know that. Know me. No, I'm scared to drive. I don't want to be on the drive. I don't want to get on the expressway. I like being on the passenger side, man. Yeah. I like being the control a little bit, so I like the drive. No, I'm good with the control. I like being Excuse the. Excuse me. I like being the GPS. You gotta follow my page for some good food, sis. <laughs> you know, dirty ass drugs. She ain't like she ain't here. Be man. nice. I am being nice. I said you gotta follow my page. She gonna roll her eyes. But if I was one of them white boys, she, no, I'm not racist or nothing. But if I was a different race, she probably would have just looked at me. Excuse me. Here you go. If you walking through My Kelly Drive, crazy. if you walk, hold on, everybody just like I know it's crazy. Anybody know? Listen, y'all, if y'all walking through Fairmount Park and you got your earbuds that loud that you can't hear a motherfucker saying something nice to you, you in danger. But no, no, I agree with you on that because they could be doing anything. Yeah, like you, you really need to have. But people aren't really. Well, you gotta be friendly. That's how you network. We come from the environment where you network. All right, but why you need to call her dress dirty? Look at them Damn. I ain't lying. That dress is like <laughs> sexual vibes. She could be about a little stink butt. She wasn't classy <laughs> enough for the <laughs> chef anyway, y'all. <laughs> uh. She wasn't classy. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to talk shit about that queen, or whatever. But you gotta be act like a queen for me to consider you a queen. I know y'all agree, right? Don't y'all gotta have a queen mentality for a nigga to call y'all a queen? Y'all can't have a stinky, bitchy attitude. Like, you can still also have a bitchy attitude and be a queen, but it's how you carry yourself. It's how you carry yourself, right? I said, I said uh, I'm gonna agree with you that you have to know how to carry yourself. Don't want don't want queen qualities with thought ways. <laughs> she had a real thotty attitude. Like, I was trying to talk to her. I said you gotta follow my page. Well, for maybe some... maybe she couldn't hear you. She heard me. She heard you. I said you gotta follow my page for is some it, good wait, food. Wait, is it? Are you? Was your feelings hurt? No, my feelings wasn't hurt. Okay, because we need to make sure that didn't. Happen. I'm just always a helping person. If somebody trying to snatch your pocketbook, I'm gonna be the nigga to chase him down. Uh -huh. If somebody, you know what I'm saying, trying to hurt you, I ain't got no money. But shit, I get homeless people <laughs> money all the time. We about to we about to get a whole bunch of money. You yeah, know, because they are loving you. But cooking. money don't make and break me though. No, it I ain't don't, never been a scrub though. Don't ever forget that. No, no. never. I'm, I'm trying to you tell know, the followers. When you, have, you, when, know. you have, when you have skills and you have abilities and you have talents, it, it separates you from somebody that is ain't doing nothing. You like, you know, true. true. So you doing something. Yo, you know, y'all wanna know what I really miss though? Even though I love food and I love cooking and everything, I miss working for CTX Gas Company. And I had a racist nigga from Jersey, Bob was my foreman. He said, Lorenzo, you late 15 minutes. I said, yo, we just took my mom to chemo. You know, she got cancer. I never been late. Every time I've been late, you know, or just by going behind schedule. Uh -huh. If I'm, if I get to the job and nobody's doing nothing and we ain't clocked in or nothing, I'm not late. But if I tell you my mom got cancer and we had to do something for her and I'm texting you 15 minutes out. When I got to the job, he should have been like, Lorenzo, come get your last check. I can't do this no more. You're fired. He's like, Lorenzo, what's your problem, motherfucker? Ooh, in front of all these minute. people. And I looked over at my man from down Jersey. He was like, Lorenzo, don't do it. Don't do it. I just look, I looked at him like, yo. So wait a minute. So you at your job and you late, it running late because you had to take your mom to I was, appointment. I was the best worker they had from their mouth. Uh, three times less than 15 minutes late. 
less than 15 minutes late and always beat the, the seniority guys there. So you know what's so crazy? He was racist though. Is that I've been talking to a bunch of people that work for these corporations I mean, $36 and dollars and $0.41. Right, but you know what? It's like, shit. No, let me tell you why it's mad. Because when you work for somebody else, they put a cap over your head he of what you can work. make a day. No, you want to know what he Wait, said? Wait, listen. But if you got your own business, you can make whatever the hell you want to make. It's, the sky's is the limit. So... It's so crazy trying to work for these corporations that don't really respect your time. You know, if you got family or personal issues going on, you don't really have time to address them because you got to be in, in, you know, you got to be where they need you to be. This was a demographical thing, though. This was, I'm from the Jersey Shore, Hamilton, New Jersey, and you from South Philly. Who uh, was like, Bob, you can't talk to Lorenzo like they from South Philly. And cause they say how I was looking over at him. He was like, "Fuck." The was that playing? Was that music playing all the time? Uh, yeah, he was. He turned it down. We about like, to go get some food. He was like, "Fuck, South Philly, I'm from South." And me Jersey. and my crazy chef right here, we and, gonna talk about life and family and situations. Yeah. And, and what I wanted to hold on, what I wanted to say about all that is. Never let nobody talk shit, cause after all that, he was like Lorenzo. They don't go back in them kitchens and see, can you make this much, bro? You got me fucked up if you don't know what chefs make. Uh, like, job, he was all happy, baby, right? He was all happy. You ever seen an eight hundred dollar check before? I said eight hundred dollars. I said, nigga, I was fucking sixteen, counting eighty thousand dollars, drug money. Oh God! Oh, right. He told you ever seen eight hundred dollars check? He like He's no. not doing the drug thing anymore. But the, no, I, I haven't been involved in drugs in over ten years. I'm just saying. And but, that's beautiful, like to go from that to this to doing something productive and trying to be somebody different. Never that's like, what this is all about. Never like judge a book by its cover. Exactly, because nobody falls short of success in you know trying to be somebody different than they used to be. Yep. So we're about to we about to cook something. And up. a lot of people can like, try to like degrade you because they're afraid of your talent. Well we about to Okay look, look at this bus. He need to move over. He need to slow down. All right, we gonna hit y'all back when we get into the market and see what something, something we gonna conjure up something tonight. I don't know what it's gonna be, but we gonna have fun, laugh, joke, talk about stuff that's going on in the news and our life and in general. I gotta give us some ideas on what y'all wanna eat. Yeah, what y'all wanna eat? What y'all wanna eat? He said he can cook anything. He can cook anything. All right. And if I never made it before, I'll give me one or two. Give me one try. We're trying me, to get it right. Give me one try to get it right. Give me two tries to get it perfect. So now look, I didn't have people calling me. They want you to do private events. You we gonna do all private events. We gonna kid this all you need. So all you gotta do is hit Ricard up. If you don't know me, hit me up. Sometimes we might not respond to you because we're very busy, but we're gonna get to you in a timely manner. In a timely manner, we're gonna get to you and we're gonna bring y'all some good food. So and we got a page too called Cater to You. But we got our personal pages and we got a page called Cater to You. So you know what? Maybe we need to create another one. I need to get somebody with that, like ASAP. Yeah. All right. We can do that. Come on, Jeep. I hate me. All right, y'all. We're going to hit y'all later.